Hi friends! Have you adjusted to the time change yet? I'm still working on it. Thinking about time brings to mind the Bible verse that says, But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. That's 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. The people to whom the second letter of Peter was originally written were waiting on God to send Jesus back to earth. They were waiting on Christ's second coming. They were waiting on that day when all of the faithful would be gathered up and taken to their eternal home in glory. And they expected that day to come soon. In fact, that they believed that it would come within the lifetime of the apostles. And so as the apostles started to die, there was some concern about the long delay. And so Peter comforts and encourages the congregation by making the point that God's standard of time is different from ours. Now, one day is like a thousand years is not meant to be a mathematical equation. It is simply to say that God's timing is different from ours and that God views time completely differently than we do. It's kind of like saying your birthday is three weeks away to a five-year-old and a 50-year-old. To the five-year-old, that seems like an eternity, but to the 50-year-old, it's right around the corner. I think the point of this verse is simply that God is not bound by time. God is eternal, and God has an eternal perspective. Do you ever get impatient with God's timing? <laughs> I do. Whenever I need healing or guidance or affirmation or answers, it's difficult to wait. So here's a tip for not getting discouraged while we're waiting for God's timing. Not to get discouraged when things don't happen according to our timeline. And the tip is zoom out. Whenever I am discouraged, it's usually because I've zoomed in on a specific thing that I don't like. For example, if I lose my patience with my son, I zoom in on that incident and I feel like a bad parent. Or if I preach a boring sermon, I zoom in on that and feel like a lousy pastor. Or if I miss an opportunity, I zoom in and am filled with regret. If your finger is stuck on the zoom button, here's what to do. Zoom out. Hit the wide angle button instead. Remember that you are a work of, in progress and you are in this life and in this faith for the long haul. Step back, take the wide view, and put things into perspective, maybe even an eternal perspective. I want you to think about that as I show you the illustrations from Istvan Banyai's book, Zoom. And I'm gonna say goodbye now so that I don't interrupt your thoughts at the end. <laughs>